Okay, so your homework on page 182, first number 18. A 1,700 kilogram car is towing a larger vehicle with a mass of 2,400 kilograms. Okay, so here's my larger vehicle, 2,400 kgs. Here's my car, looking kind of sad, but my car nonetheless. And it is 1,700 kgs. I guess I could put wheels on this guy too. Um, the two vehicles accelerate uniformly from a stoplight, reaching a speed of 15 kilometers per hour in 11 seconds. So from a stoplight means VI is zero. Reaching a speed of 15 kilometers per hour, VF, in 11 seconds, delta T. You have to switch the 15 kilometers per hour to meters per second. And I think when you do... Sorry, just find the calculator. 4.16 with the 6 repeating meters per second. Find the force needed to accelerate the connected vehicles as well as the minimum strength of the rope. So the first thing you can do is find the acceleration from these three. So A equals VF minus VI over delta T. VI is zero. So A equals 4.16 repeating meters per second divided by 11 seconds. So A is going to equal 0 0.38, 0 0.378 and the 78 repeats meters per second squared. Okay, so this is our acceleration of the whole system of the two individual objects, everything. So now it wants the force needed to accelerate the connected objects. So look at the whole system to start with. Okay, so on system, it'll be these two objects together. So the 2,400 kilograms plus the 1,700. And the, there must be a force from the car that the car is generating that's pulling it forward. It says absolutely nothing about friction. So we can assume that this is frictionless. We have to assume it because they didn't tell us anything. So the sum of the forces will equal m total a. And so it'll just be f is equal to m total is the 2,400 kilograms plus the 1,700. So that should be about 41 times the a, which is 0 0.378 with the 78 repeating meters per second squared. And when you do this, you should get a force of 1553.03 and the 03 is repeating. Okay, so that's the force, the first force they're asking for, the force needed to accelerate the connected vehicles. Then it wants the minimum strength in the rope between them. So when you're, that's like the tension in here. So when you're doing that, you need to look at just one object. So look at... Um, the, the larger vehicle in behind. Look at number two. Okay. So number two, 2,400 kilograms. And there's a force pulling forward. That's the tension in the rope between them. No friction, so nothing pulling backward. So some of the forces will equal M2A. The only force is tension. And that will be equal to 2,400 kgs times that 0 0.378 repeating meters per second squared. And when you do this, you get 909.09. .09. And the 0 is repeating if you didn't round. That's the tension. Now we can look at on number one as our check. So number one is 1,700 kilograms. Pulling this way is the force we found. That was 1553.03 repeating newtons. Pulling back is the 909 that we just found. So we're going to do some of the forces should equal M1 times A. So forward is positive. So F minus the tension should equal M1A. So 1553.03 repeating 
minus 909.09 repeating should equal 1,700 kilograms times the 0 0.378 with the 78 repeating. When you do this, um, 909 negative plus recall 2, on this side you get 643.939 with the 93 repeating newtons. On the other side, call 1 times 17. Look at that. You get 643.939 with the 93 repeating. It works. It works. So that's number one. Number two. A nice skier pulls three small children. Okay, so here are my three small children. This one is number one. They're being pulled this way. Number two, number three. Uh, behind each other with mass is 25 kilograms, 31 kilograms, and 35 kilograms. Assuming the ice is smooth enough to be frictionless, find the total force applied to the train if they reach a speed of 3.5 meters per second in 15 seconds. So VF is 3.5 meters per second. Delta T is 15 seconds. VI will be zero. You can find A. A is equal to VF minus VI over delta T. So 3.5 meters per second, VI is zero, over 15 seconds. A should be equal to 0 0.233, and I suspect the three is repeating. It is. Meters per second squared. Okay? Uh, find the total force applied to the train. So look at the whole system. And when you do, it's 25, 35, and 31, all added together. And I believe that should be about 91 kilograms. Okay, pulling forward is just the force that the person's pulling them with. Nothing is pulling backward. There is no friction. So some of the forces will equal M total A. So F will be equal to 91 kilograms times 0 0.23 with the three repeating meters per second squared, and you should get a force of 21.23, still repeating, newtons. That's part A. Part B says if the skater is holding onto the 25 kilogram kids, okay, the first one, find the tension in the arms of the next child. So you want this one, F12, FT12, and this one, FT23. So one ki the kid's arm, one is pulling forward and one backward. So always start on the back guy. So on number three, you can't start with number two because you'd have two unknowns. So on number three, who is 35 kilograms, the only force he is experiencing is the tension from number two. So do some of the forces will equal M2A, and it'll be this FT23 is equal to 35 kilograms times the 0 0.23 repeating meters per second squared. And when you do this, you get an FT23 of 8.16 with the 6 repeating newtons. Okay, now you can look at number 2. So on number 2, we have the force we just, uh, 31 kilograms. We have the force that we just found pulling back, FT23, and the force that we're looking for, FT12, pulling forward. Sum of the forces is equal to M2A. Forward is positive, so F12 minus F23 is equal to M2A. So 1, 2 should be M2A, going to run at a time, plus 2, 3. M2 is 31 kilograms times the 0 0.23 repeating plus the 8.16 repeating newtons. And you should get a 1, 2 of 15.4 newtons. And then you could check it on the first kid. 
right? Because the first kid will have this F going forward that we found.